gonna do this first thing in the morning, but I want some cashew milk to go in my decaf coffee that I'm gonna drink after my workout. So I'm whipping this up quickly now. It's a little over one cup of soaked cashews, and then I'm gonna do four cups of water. Adding in just a little bit of vanilla, and then I'm gonna add in two dates. Just gonna do an initial strain. This makes the whole process so much quicker if you just do a quick, bigger strain. Just in the time of making that cashew milk, that was enough time to make me lose all motivation. This is the time to stick with the plan and just keep going because I'm going to be happy if I do afterwards. Getting up and working out is something that is literally never easy for me, so I do not want that whole routine I just did to seem like it took no effort because that actually took all of my effort. I'm not someone that ever looks forward to working out. It's just never how I've been, and I hope that, you know, as I get working out more into my daily routine, hopefully maybe that'll change over time, but as of right now, 27 years in, it's not something that comes easy to me. And so I'm always trying in these moments right now, post working out where I feel good, I feel proud, I feel accomplished. I try and really be present in these moments and try and really soak up how I'm feeling in these moments. So that next time that I'm like begrudgingly deciding if I should work out or not, I can remember this feeling because pre-workout me really likes to think that post workout me just doesn't exist. And pre-workout me is really good at justifying away this good feeling that I'm feeling right now. So if I can just be as present as I can in this feeling, then maybe next time I can remember this feeling a little better and I can use this feeling to propel me into the workout because I always feel good after. And for me, it's not even about working out. It's about just movement because I work from home and if I'm not intentional, with working out or with just like moving going on walks it doesn't happen and so whether that is a full workout whether that is just a walk i'm just trying to get myself moving more and i don't have a perfect solution for how to do that i'm just you know trying different strategies every single day and i'm hoping that over time it'll just become something that i don't need to think about one thing that i always am telling myself is that you can never compare what you're doing to what someone else is doing. You should always compare yourself to what you did yesterday, not what someone else is gonna do tomorrow. That's way easier said than done, but just always try and focus on being a better version of yourself, not the same type of version of someone else. Also, can I just say, when did it become part of the social norm that we are supposed to wake up and the first thing that we are supposed to be doing in the day is making our bed? Like if we ever want to be productive at any point throughout the day, we are supposed to be waking up, jumping out of bed, and immediately making our bed. But guys, you gotta air out your sheets. You can't just be jumping out and immediately closing things up. You gotta unroll things. You gotta air it out. You gotta leave it sitting like this for like 30 minutes, even an hour. It's the best thing you can do for your sleep hygiene. It's the best thing you can do for your hormones. I'm telling you, don't make your bed first thing air it out there are so many other ways to like take a quick thing off of the list for the day to feel productive to get the day started you can do a quick journal you can do anything but please don't just be jumping out of bed and then folding all your gross bacteria back in onto itself that's my ted talk video like a morning
morning routine video because that's kind of the whole point of this video is that I don't currently have a morning routine. Like today is day two and I haven't done a single thing today and this morning that I did yesterday morning. And I go back and forth with wondering if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Sometimes I think the reason why my mornings are so chaotic and sometimes so unproductive is because I don't have a strict routine where I do the exact same thing every morning. But then sometimes when I am trying to implement like a strict morning routine where I do the same thing every day and I don't do step one, then my easily manipulated brain is like, oh, step one never got done. There's no point in doing step two, three, four, five. We're just not gonna do anything this morning. We're just gonna be lazy Tessa. I can't be the only one that does that. Please tell me I'm not the only person that does that. Like my brain in the morning is so manipulative. Like first five minutes of the morning Tessa is a totally different Tessa to the Tessa sitting here right now. Like now that I'm up, now that I'm awake, I've gotten ready, I'm getting ready to go for a walk. Like now that I'm up, I have logic. But that first five minutes Tessa, she has her own set of rules and there's just no reasoning with her. So if I have a very strict routine in the morning and morning Tessa decides she does not wanna do that strict routine that day, like the routine's not happening. So that's why this week I'm kind of approaching my mornings differently. I have two very simple goals and I'm trying to implement those goals in many different ways. I really wanna try and be more mindful and more present in the morning and I wanna try and be more active in the morning. So yesterday making that cashew milk, that was my attempt to be more mindful to not be looking at my phone, to just do like a casual task. Doesn't take much brain energy, but it centered me in the moment. It rooted me in the morning. And then to get active, I did the Peloton and then I felt really good going into the rest of the day. And then this morning I went out, watered my carrots, probably for the last time before I harvest actually. But that was my attempt at being more mindful and getting outside, doing a simple task that makes me, you know, focus on the task at hand. And after being on the balcony watering for that two seconds that I was out there, it made me want to be outside more. So my activity for today is I'm going to walk, go on a little walk. There's a few stairs not too far from my house that I like to walk up and down. So I'm going to walk over there. And that's kind of today's game plan of how I'm going to check off those two goals. Very different than yesterday. But I think approaching my mornings like this is so much more attainable and manageable for me. And it's a way of setting goals and a way of improving that isn't so restricting. And I think that's important when you're setting any goals, but especially for me, especially morning goals, I need to be flexible, you know, because clearly I'm no pro at the mornings. Clearly, the mornings are you know a struggle for me and they really are but this is my attempt to achieve my goals and my attempt to try a new strategy to reach those goals and I'm proud of myself because I think it's important to personalize goals you can't just look online and see what other people are doing and try and fit that into your own life that would never work for me in the morning if I tried to do what other people were doing in the morning. It would just never click. It would never feel authentic. And I probably just would never do it. So I think really being honest with myself of like, okay, what type of person are you? What is gonna work for you? Let's do that. And I'm thinking if I'd be really mindful about these goals for the next few weeks, maybe months, I don't know, as long as it takes, Hopefully, eventually, it'll start to feel really natural and I'll wake up and just automatically be mindful and automatically be active and you know achieve those things in different ways every day as it fits the day. But as of right now, I need to think about it. I need to plan for it. The night before, I'm thinking, okay, what am I gonna do tomorrow morning to be mindful? What am I gonna do tomorrow morning to be active? And what makes sense for the specific day. What things do I think I can actually achieve? And I'm also thinking of a few backups. Like if I woke up and morning Tessa did not wanna make cashew milk, what else was I gonna do? I had that backup ready to go. So yeah, this video is very, very preliminary. It is not a morning routine. This is like step one, how to start achieving your morning goals. This is step one. And this is where I naturally am and what I'm working on in my life. So I just wanna bring you all along. Today to get active, like I said, I'm gonna go for a little walk. I never like walking too far from my house by myself, because I live in LA and LA is crazy, but there are those steps not too far. So I'm gonna walk over there, walk up and down the steps, try and go up and down a few more times than I initially want to, you know, kind of push myself. And then hopefully that sets me up for a good rest of the day. too high def to be doing morning videos. I actually had a dream that someone stole this shirt from me last night. It says protect your energy. Maybe that's a metaphor. I think this is the last morning that I'm gonna be bringing you guys along for because today's Friday. 
I still have some motivation to be making my mornings productive, but come Saturday, come Sunday, it's just, it's not gonna be the same. I just woke up, Miles is in the shower. This is commitment to this channel. If you guys are watching and you haven't liked or subscribed, like and subscribe because I literally just woke up and shoved a camera in my face. I haven't even gone pee yet. I hope that's not TMI. I've talked about this a little bit in previous videos or maybe I've just shown me journaling. I don't know if I've actually talked about it. When I'm picking journals, I usually go for a really fancy leather bound, like really just pristine notebook. But I always find myself being like a little scared to write in it because it's so perfect that I feel like whatever I have to write in it needs to be perfect. And that is clearly showing like an issue that I have in my own brain. But every time that I have a notebook like that, I feel like I have to have perfect handwriting or I feel like I have to have every entry follow the same pattern, whether it's a list or an entry or something like that. But with this notebook, no offense to the creator, I really like that it's just not an aesthetic thing. It's really just for function. And I've really taken the non-perfection approach to this like even further because I'm not going in order question by question. I literally flip through the pages every morning, look for a question that I want to answer and then answer that little prompt. And I love how that allows me to kind of like choose my adventure every morning. And I love how short the prompts are because sometimes I only write like three sentences. Sometimes I'm cramming more into the lines, but it's so quick and easy that there's really no excuse not to do it. And it's been really helping me focus on my own life in the morning. I saw something on social media that was like, when you wake up in the morning, you can either choose to start consuming someone else's life or you can start living yours. And that basically was trying to say like, don't scroll on your phone first thing in the morning. Don't look at someone else's life, just live yours. And I think that's just really important and cool just to do for even the first five minutes of the day, you know? Like I'm not expecting us all to be superheroes and never go on social media for the first like two hours of the morning, but to make your first activity something that's really centered about you, your life, and your day, I think that's really important. So that's what I've been trying to infuse into my life. But I really hope that this video makes sense because I filmed obviously everything first thing in the morning. So I honestly can't really remember even what is in this video. <laughs> my brain, when I say it truly is not working in the morning, it genuinely is not working in the morning. So I hope this video made sense. It's basically showing my starting point of my mornings, where I am right now, and what I'm trying to improve on, rather than showing you guys like a perfect finished routine, I just wanna kinda of bring you along for what my mornings are actually like. And I think showing you guys what I wanna improve on is really good for me, but it's also just like real, and I wanna make sure I'm showing you guys not just something once I've perfected it, but I wanna show you guys the journey of how I'm trying to improve my life a little bit. So this is kind of the starting point with how I'm trying to shift my mornings. Maybe we'll do this again in a few months and we'll see if I have adopted like actually a true routine with any of this stuff. But yeah, I'll just be keeping you guys updated with everything. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you do with your morning routine, whether you're a pro, whether you're someone like me that is just attempting to try and start getting a routine going. Just share with me literally anything. I wanna know any tips. I wanna know any tricks. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope you guys are having a good morning. I hope you're having a good day in a good week and I'll see you guys next time.